<clears throat> All right, so uh, we're in a system and uh, it's a HD 40317. Uh, someone hopped by this system uh, last year and reportedly said he could only have found one habitable planet. So I looked into it and uh, to my surprise I actually did find something related to uh, the whole system from uh, A to B to C to D to E to F to G and we're looking at F here and uh, they all seem to have water on them now this one here is at a temperature of 54.724 degrees Celsius and um, let's check this one out now this is the HD 40307E um, report also H2O and the thing about this is that the Trappist system uh, which was discovered about a year ago was also uh, defined as having seven or more planets that were equal in size uh, to Earth uh, with possible life on them. And uh, well, this one proves that you know um, we found another one. Um, now this one also is H2O and some of the temperatures here are uh, quite high but the theory being as such that seven planets with water um, between their states from gaseous to solid to fluid and plasma um, and the distance between each orbit would actually indicate that um, there are multiple habitable zones in some systems. Um, this one has H2O and its temperature is up about higher than 80, 80 800 degrees Celsius. Um, so, you know, what can I say when I'm being um, uh, in a place like this and my orbitals are defined um, here we have letter B um, let's see and 623 degrees Celsius um, you know we're watching rational life here um, in more than three states um, now imagine we had a, imagine our system, um, our solar system would have uh, seven of these. Um, we would uh, probably have advanced our civilization to the point where um, we would be moving back and forth between them and just fueling up on everything. Missing water, no problem go to let us see or you know uh, temperature variations um, you know uh, and stuff like that so as for that it's not really much more than that um, except to say um, we'd want to know what the surroundings look like so I'm just going to zoom out and give us a look at um, the distance between stars now I mean if every star system was like this then you would probably have an accumulation of water in seven variables uh, and there would be less sustaining life so um, at some point in the evolution of such a system um, 
something separates it or combines it. Um, and that's our Milky Way there. Now let's see um, where our solar system is on Earth. So it's not so far away, actually. There we have good old Earth. And uh, the probability that perhaps uh, it also had seven different planets with water states on them that evaporated or were fused or froze over, you know, like you see on uh, the moons of Jupiter and stuff like that. Um, and the other ones went gaseous. Um, yeah, so I'll leave you with that. Hope you enjoyed it.